What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How are we doing today? My name is Anthony Zaragoza, host of the Miles Horror Podcast, host of the Knights of Horror, and today we have yourselves a very good special podcast today. Uh, we have something that hasn't really been talked about a lot in uh, other podcasts or whatnot, and uh, this is a good, this is like a first time for uh, our good friend Scott Dieterman, who is here. First timer, not well, really, but. Well, not really. You've been on the show a couple <laughs> times, but this is the first yeah. time we, we're actually going to dive deep into uh, something that you and I have been talking about for some time, yeah. uh, your company, Slider Dynamics. Uh, we got two guests here with us, uh, and Scott, uh, because you handpicked these guests, would you like to introduce as names. a matter of fact, I would. Yeah. So I picked these two guests based off of uh, me training with them and taking them from ground zero all the way up to their end of the day. When I say ground zero, I means they had no experience prior going into it. So we have my friend Aiden from the East Coast, part of the uh, Hello Scream, Dark Arousal, and sliding te- Sliders team out there. And I have Caden Jasper. Hi. I'm sorry, Caden <laughs> Engberg here. <laughs> From uh, my team, the Queen Mary Sliders, and also a not scary farm, Boardwalk Clown, aka Red Vine. Oh, and her name is Susie Tentos. Susie Tentos, Susie, but close. Oh, uh, whatever. You got, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, Caden so and Aiden. Caden, uh, welcome back. It's, it's been a minute. Aiden, welcome to the show for the first time. Yeah, Happy thanks to have for having you. me. Um, uh, for starters, Scott. Uh, would you like to give the audience a little bit of background as to uh, what Slider Dynamics is and, and how the idea of Slider Dynamics came to your came to you? Yeah, yeah. So those of th- those viewers that don't know, um, basically what my business is is um, it's a training and development uh, program for haunt sliders anywhere in the world. Uh, I've I've gone no- nationwide, but you know I'm looking to break into overseas type of thing and basically what I do is I actually train people how to slide safely and efficiently um, through the course of their haunt career and being able to do it without with minimal injury risk and being able to do it until they decide hey I want to quit and not because they got injured so that's the that's the core of it and then we throw character development in there as well because sliding is very far secondary to character work Yes. So those 100%. two things are, are, are put uh, together hand in hand. So, so. Uh, for, for your program, obviously, um, I've gotten to see some behind the scenes um, that we stuff we we filmed in the past and, and everything. But um, with this comes a, a variety of things. It's not just jumping into the pads immediately. It's there's a lot of training and training the body and Correct. and really uh, getting the mindset to uh, like you said having to keep on to this for many years to come and you get to really decide when you call quits and keeping your body kind of you know correct healthy and strong doing it so what are what are some of the things that um people can expect when when maybe doing the program well the way preview if any yeah the way i do the program is like you like you hit the nail on the head it's not just the act of padding up and sliding there's so much that goes into it prior to that and it goes all the way back to proper sleep patterns right diet when you get all that stuff squared away as you go, we, I cover all that, and also it goes into cross training, conditioning before you even pad up. Right. Working, you know, the, the muscle groups that are used for sliding correctly, so everything we do it, it mimics the movements right. of sliding. That way, those muscles are used to those movements by the time they go out there and do their run. Because let's face it, sliding is not a normal movement. So when you do it for the first time, Aiden's shaking her head like, yeah. <laughs> When you do it for the first time, you're going to be hurting in places where you didn't even know you had muscle, you know, muscles, active, active muscles right there in those areas. Right. So, but all that stuff came in to play from me developing it over all of my time, my years there. I mean, I, I started training people when I was 18, but as things developed now, I have a full blown curriculum, but as things developed, I was experimenting, doing every single thing on myself first. Right. And as, that, as those things started to go, if it worked, I started implementing them into a regimen that I used to do. And then when I put together my business and I started, and then I started teaching other teams from other areas, other parks, how to do that. Right. So, and um, I, I remember first hearing about this back in uh, when we first met in 2020 at uh, Honex. You and I talked a little bit about it. You kind of gave me the grand scheme of things and, and the vision that you had. Um, sadly... COVID did come and kind of 
put a, a little bit of a break on that. Put a right crimp now, in it, yeah. You know? yeah. But uh, as 2021 came around, um, you started getting back out there, hitting the rink again, and uh, eventually started landing um, a gig or two, right? Last, yeah. Last, last season. Yeah, I've been I've been pretty fortunate, and I'm always grateful for the opportunities that have been that I've been given. Right. Um, I uh, last in 2021, I I worked with uh, actually in 2019, I worked with Dark Horizon, right? Orlando, which was a West Coast style haunt on the East Coast. Yeah. And that was run by the same group that I worked with over at Dark Harbor. In Long Beach, so we started there. But my process on 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 trying to develop this company, I started thinking about this back in oh four oh five. Right. I, I was trying to figure out a way. How can I figure out how can I teach people how to do this and be able to have them be effective without killing themselves night after night and make a little money too? Yeah, you know. So twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen, when I first trained Aiden and the group at Dark Horizon. That was quote unquote like a testing ground for me. I wanted, I needed to see how the way I tra um, transferred information worked with them. And lo and behold, everything I did, they took to it like bee to honey. You know, I mean, the learning curve out there is amazing. Uh, Aiden, Aiden was somebody that never even heard of sliding before before she came in, and within the first few hours, she looked like she'd been sliding for six months to a year already. Right. So you know, she's she's got a very fast learning curve as well. So um, that's kind of how it started, and that really, I was already thinking about, you know, putting this into effect, but once that happened, by day two of that training day, I was like, okay, I'm going forward with this. I need to start creating a business out of this. Right. You know? And now, switching things over to Aiden, um, going into this, you know, he just mentioned that you never had heard of it, you never, you know, you didn't really know what it was, but going into it, what was it like uh, learning from the ground up and, and obviously getting to uh, be coached by a essentially your first class in a way really you know kind of like a like a first kind of like venture out there right? well i would say first paid gig yes first, like to but, go out of state and everything though you know what i mean yeah but i've over over my time in this in this business i've trained many yeah I've hundreds been, and, and we, hundreds of and people yeah had conversations about it but yeah uh, and what was it like you know going into this were you, were you nervous about it or do you did you feel like you were going to be in good hands like what what was your thought process going into uh, when you when you when you apply for the for the for the job. Oh no, I was super nervous. Um, but Scott made it really uh, relaxed, and I felt comfortable once I got in there. And it's kind of funny you mentioned earlier, like not just jumping into the pads and just doing it. That's actually what I did. I got there and they were like, "All right, let's see what you can do." And they showed me, you know, like the basics. And then I did it, and then we started building from there. And I remember um, there was a couple of times where like we would be doing a drill and a few people wasn't like weren't quite getting it and Scott would change it up and then they would understand it like you could see something click in their head and I guess that's you know the start of your program and it's cool I was there <laughs> yeah there is there is that I always say this is there's more than one way to skin a cat in the sense of not everybody is going to take the information the same way. So if somebody has not been able to grab what I'm trying to tell them to do in one manner, you have to find another way to make them understand. Man, like, oh, okay, then you then you actually show them, and then that triggers it in their mind, then they go and do it, and then they can continue to duplicate it over practice. Yeah, you've always been really good about that, of, like, catering to the individual's need of, like, what will make sense to them. I definitely try. Definitely try. Yeah. No, I, and I know when you go out there, you wanna, you wanna give, <clears throat> and you wanna do the things that um, you know people can, can do as well. It, it, like you said, you you've tested a lot of things on you, and uh, you wanna make sure that what you're training people to do, they can be able to accomplish exactly how you did it, and eventually, um, hopefully, transition to more to do more kind of Frankenstein their own style in a way you know exactly I mean? like they'll, they'll learn the basics and then hopefully they can roll with it and, and kind yeah. of make it their own I um, give them especially when they're brand new people which both of these two can attest to is when they're brand new people I'll give them a very strong foundation to build on mm -hmm. but that's only year one I mean I, I flood them with a ton of information right but that's only year one and as the years progress because this is how many years for you now two I started at the beginning of 2019 Okay, so this is going on your third year. Yeah. 
So from there and now, and you can attest when we do training, we build. Oh yeah. We uh -huh. always we're always building. Uh -huh. It's like it's like Legos. Yeah. You know, it's baby steps. You crawl, you walk, you run. You can't go from crawling or not even crawling to running right away, which is a lot of people what a lot of people try to do. Right. So I try to prevent that and get these people. It's like, hey, be patient, trust the process, and go through it. That way, you can do this for as long as you want. You know, I always use I always use my age right. as an example because I can still do it at my age now. You know, I think, starting... I, I think I've, I've seen you slide from one end of the ring to the other, no problem. Yeah. You know, it's like at, at the age that you're at, you're still you're going out there like you, you're still in your twenties again. You know what I mean? And yeah. You're looking fit you're looking good and 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 still going to do it and i think you uh, and you and i talk about this all the time you you have to use yourself body and everything as a prime example of what you're trying to preach and try to teach yes so and i know you're very you, you know when i me and him will go out he's very strict on, on diets and everything he's not like, all the time but not all the time <laughs> but most of the time he's like yeah I, I shouldn't be eating that or i i can't eat that i had this this weekend so i gotta watch what i eat and stuff but it, it shows and the reason why i brought that up because it shows how serious you you are about this business, how much you, you take it serious and how much uh, you want to be a prime example for all the students yeah. that you teach and whatnot. Um, Kaden, going over to you now, uh, same question. When you, when you got into this, you know, when you started training and whatnot, was it, was, was it something that you were nervous about or was it something that you just wanted to jump right into and, and get to the experience? I was 100% nervous, I'll yeah. be honest. The first time I went to the rink, I flopped on the floor. Um, and, you know, going to boot camp, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't understand any of it. Um, but, you know, training with <coughs> Scott, I mean, like, when he would explain it to me, and sometimes I didn't get it at first, but when he would re-explain it, we'd go over it, it just started clicking. Right. And the more I understood it, the more excited I got. And the right. more I was like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. You know? And I've seen you, I've gotten to see you uh over time at events in person and whatnot whether you're on pads or whether you're not i mean you're very talented at what you do and i don't doubt in my mind you're very talented at what you do too i just haven't had the opportunity to go out and see you yet but i promise you i will get out there eventually i just hit florida for the first time last year so i'm slowly <laughs> easing into it but i will get out there to see you guys because i really want to see uh a scott Dieterman taught group and see what they bring to outside the of the queen mary team outside of the queen mary right yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm good friends with all of them but I, I i do he talks you know he talked to me about it for for last year and he was giving me you know a little bit behind the scenes of what they were doing and, and how talented everyone is and i really want to go out there and see it and just really ex explore other horizons so i don't doubt in my mind too you are very talented uh, and i bet scott can can uh, vouch for you on that too but um yeah i have i've gotten to see you multiple times uh in, in a haunt at photo shoots in character uh, like I said off pads on pads and, and you are very talented at what you do um, and I could see that was you know a lot of that was to getting the leadership from Scott and, and the pointers as to where to go from here and, and how to do it safely and, and I can even speak on this myself too is that uh, every time I see you at the rink or at somewhere you're always going up to Scott asking him is this right is this form right you're always trying to perfect your form and I like that so it shows how serious and how how committed you are to, to doing this and, and how much of an impact his his teaching has has given you to continue to better yourself so oh, definitely yeah everything i know is thanks to him. <laughs> yeah <laughs> well one thing i've always tried to instill in anybody i teach is like i said this to you guys on the east coast more than once and i say this to you guys all the time is and i use that hashtag i've been using it probably for over a year now growth is eternal and oh, yeah. that is a true statement more mm -hmm. so in in sliding because if you don't continue to grow you're not going to continue to get better and you're not going to figure out ways to again reduce injury rates even more because yeah i'm i'm the one that's teaching everybody to do it but i'm still growing i'm still adding new things to my curriculum and that's why you know when the time comes when i come back out your way aiden for auditions uh which is coming up soon even okay. auditions are going to be a little more stringent you know things are going to be a little more on the physical side it's not going to be warm up stretch and pad up we're going to do a lot of stuff going into that you know and that's what we do here like everything we do now is conditioning stretching like we do a, a dynamic warm-up then we stretch and then we go i think we lost her no there we go oh, okay. Oh, okay she was like frozen for like a good second i was like i think we lost her <laughs> 
That's I, I like, can oh. still hear you, so I was like, I just won't say anything, and maybe it'll fix itself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and continue what you yeah. were saying, though. So we do a dynamic warm-up, we stretch, then we get into conditioning first, which is what we did yeah. last week. And the conditioning part is the hard part, but the thing is is that that's what's going to save you through the course of a run because every single night people are going to be going balls to the wall. So, you know, if you don't, if you're not prepared ahead of time, if you don't start planning ahead of time, you're going to be, you ain't going to be worth what you can really do you if you're not ready. You can almost compare it to like the NFL when they go through hell week. Yeah. Leading up to, you know, practices on pads and stuff. They do the same exact thing. They do drills, yep. you know, to, to condition their body, to get back into that shape. And then they eventually pad up and start doing practice games. And then, you know, preseason, all that. So, it's, it's, it, there's a lot of similarity. And that goes for all sports, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's sports, is, it's, that's, that's the basic format is, is conditioning, you know, to get your body nice and fit and ready to get it back to where you need it. And then eventually getting back on whatever it is you are doing as far as sports or, or, or sliding and whatnot. And, and then eventually, you know, running drills with, with said um, equipment and then doing like a pre thing and then going into a season yeah it's essentially like you know and and i always considered for me in my eyes sliding is, is easily one of the toughest sports out there to keep as far as you know you got to learn i mean people like to learn tricks but you know like you said you got to keep your body fit you got to have a, a proper diet you got to get a good night's rest because all yep. this is going to come into effect when it, <clears throat> when it's time to hit the the, the main stage you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it, it, you know you and i have this conversation on, on a, like almost yeah. a weekly basis you know so you, you know, know there's this there's this this myth too that a lot of people out there think is like oh yeah I, I i stay in shape i go to the gym i lift weights and that's that's all they do you know first of all they're lifting heavy which creates the wrong type of muscle you need for sliding and it, it this is something that people don't really think about because if you're lifting heavy i call them short fiber muscles right because you get it short and bulky right you get you get strong but you need the long fiber functional strength built muscles for sliding that's why a lot of the stuff we do is body weight um since i don't have i'm not a multimillionaire, i can't bring resistance band kits to every clinic you know but like for me my personal routine and which is i i flow that down to to any of my trainees is that my personal routine is about 95 percent resistance bands and body weight and about five percent heavy weight right so right. yeah so you know Talking on that for you know questions for Aiden and and and, and Kaden. Um, Aiden what, and Kaden. Aiden and Kaden. <laughs> I love it's it's a great rhyme. It was, it's like you planned this. <laughs> it's funny because I didn't, but now I think about it. Yeah, it's like. Um, so for Aiden, uh, what, so as you know, the training begun and stuff. What was uh, some some challenges that you overcame and that that made you stronger <clears throat> as a, as a slider and a, as a as a scare actress? Uh, actually, Scott, I don't know if I ever told you this, but. Um, at two years old, I was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. And it no. Was, <laughs> yeah, Can you turn it's your uh, up? prominent in my knees. And so I was actually <clears throat> worried uh, when I started doing this of if it would make me go into a flare up or agitate my knees at all. And <laughs> your training made it so it was more gentle on my knees in a way, like between the. Uh, <clears throat> The like slower work that we do of uh, the lunges and the stretches and things like that it helped acclimate my knees to being able to throw myself at the ground and wow that is good to know yeah yeah <laughs> that was always my goal but i didn't know you were diagnosed with that yeah since i was two <clears throat> i've always had issues with my knees so good lord <laughs> and it doesn't yeah. i'm actually glad she shared that too that's yeah that's that's good to know it really is because <laughs> the thing is is those of you that are, will be watching this, she does not look like she has any knee problems at all when she slides. <laughs> like, she doesn't hobble. She doesn't walk funny. I walk funny. She doesn't walk funny. She runs fine. Her slides look like she, she there's no issues. Right. And that's, cool. that's huge. Maybe I'll look up. There's got to be some video on, on the internet of her. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. There's got to be. I mean, there's people. So i got to probably look some stuff up to check you guys. I've been meaning to, to see some Actually, stuff I might have that. some. Yeah, so I, got, I think I, got I might have some on my Instagram or, yeah, I don't think I've posted anything on my TikTok, but Instagram. maybe on my Instagram. I got to check it out. I definitely yeah. got to check it out. I got to go support and everything. Um, that's awesome, though, the, the fact that 
his, you know, training with him got to kind of ease that into you and, and to kind of ease into the sliding as well that to help you overall and, and yeah. kind of make it a lot smoother on you. I mean, I, it's probably, it probably is growing up with it just been something that's yeah. been kind of a pain in the ass just, you know, growing up with that and stuff. But to have someone like him to come in and, and the way he coached you to, to kind of for sure. really for overcome sure. that and make it easier for you. I also, um, when I was 13, I shattered my whole left leg. You're just learning all this for the first time? Are you shitting me? <laughs> that makes me <No>. laugh. <laughs> so I actually have like a rod and like a bunch of pins in my left leg. Look how talented you are. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> you know what's yeah. funny is you and I have had a lot of in-depth conversations and not once did any of this injury shit come up. Not once. <laughs> I don't Just like talk about this. it because when I was younger, people used to feel bad for me and they would try to like go lighter on me. So I never told anyone when I was younger. Oh, I mean, she's, she's well, that's, this is the thing. You, I mean, you know me well enough to know now. Like, I wouldn't go light on you, but I would check with you more. It's like, everything good? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now and I, I feel like we have that, yeah, repertoire now. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah uh -huh. no. But it actually, uh, another thing I struggled with uh, after I broke my leg was lifting my leg behind me. And I still kind of struggle with it. But sliding actually helped with that a lot, too. It strengthened, like, the inside of my calf. And so I've been progressing there because of sliding. Well, that's good. See, that's a thing, too. I mean, like, you guys, both of you guys know I'm very heavy on working every part of the muscle group from the toe, you know, the whole body. But I focus on from your toes all the way up to your to your core, you know, to top mm -hmm. your, your core because those are – all that area is used in sliding. You know, yeah. if the muscles aren't prepared to do what you guys are going to do, you're fucked. You know, I had to learn that the hard way when I was experimenting. You know, I had a few injuries, but nothing that was going to long, you know, really put me out for long, maybe a day or two. The only bad injury I have, I still have today, is, is a broken finger. And now, that's it. And that's because I got stepped on by a guest. You know, now thinking about this we'll question. Now, oh, now, what? Yeah, it's weird looking. A broken that's finger. Weird. Yeah. Now, now looking at Caden, I was like, Caden's probably in his head, like, "Fuck, how am I gonna top that?" I, I, <laughs> I no, got no excuses. It's okay, Caden. I, I just want to hear some. Uh, but what are some challenges that 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 helped you, what that you overcome doing the program? That, you know, I know it's probably laying out the conditioning and stuff. It, it, it gets challenging, but as you go more and more, what what are the, the things that you overcome going into season? Um, I mean, it definitely. I struggle a lot with anxiety with stuff. It comes to anything right. um, and Scott really did help alleviate that I have a problem of getting in my head about everything I do <laughs> um, no <laughs> really <laughs> um, so he really helped me one build up my confidence and two I mean I did sports when I was younger and they they just train you they don't show you the proper ways to actually take care of yourself um, and very much his program it's long term and I want to do this for a while mm -hmm. Um, so I, those are the main. And if I'm not mistaken, too, you actually you also do have a, a cross country background or a track background, yeah, right? I run yeah. Track. So I mean, I, I mean, I see this. I'll, I'll see this kid at the at the rink running, and, and I'm like, dude, you run it faster than the Flash does. And he goes, that's just me <laughs> taking a nice light jog. I'm like, that's like my sprint. <laughs> I'm like, your jog is my sprint, bro. Like, I bro, he weighs like 300 pounds less than you. Yeah, that guy true. weighs 50 pounds. Well, you would think because I'm tall, my steps would just. You know, yeah, otherwise. true. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, like I said, I see you all the, all the time out there, and, and I see good progression. And, and you, as eager as you are to want to learn more, yeah. you know, it's always, it always, it always, I always look at him, and, we, and that's some of the things we talk about of, of, of who wants to, you know, who's eager to learn, and who's who's been really, you know. So we always have conversations about, you know, about um, who's making progression and everything. And you know, we we talk about everyone because everyone that he's worked with makes some progression, whether it be oh. small. Or large, like you start noticing the progression as as the training goes on. Um, so you know, just to see uh, how far you've come since I've met you to where we are today. I mean, I've noticed a lot more progression with you. You know, so it's cool to see that firsthand. Again, Aiden, I will come out and see you one day. I promise. I, I feel bad because I know him and I've seen him and I just met you, but you seem like a very cool and nice person, and cool. I would love to come out and see what you guys do out there too. I like to just... There is, there is one thing that this is going to be the first time I ever 
discuss this with anybody with any of the exclusive any of the uh, any of the trainees that I've ever worked with is that when I have a curriculum and it's in the works with any new team that I'm training, there is a certain point where you're working them, you're conditioning them, and they start breaking down mm -hmm. because their body's exhausted. Right. So what I, what I do is I work on them getting to the point of exhaustion to where the mental side of them has to kick in to push them through. I've because that. I've yeah, seen that firsthand. Yeah, yeah, and it's like if, if, if sometimes it takes, it takes me whispering into somebody's ear something like, this is only the physical side, allow your mind to take over, something like that, which I have done. And I get people to keep pushing because what a lot of people don't know is when you get to that point of exhaustion and you're still out there, you could be three, ni three hours into a night and you're completely exhausted. After your body starts shutting down physically like that, your brain starts, your mentality starts going in the shitter. Right. So I try to help build the, the mental aspect of it too. So when they get to that exhaustion, their, their mental state can keep them going. Yeah. You know, it can stable the body because the majority of the time your body will go as far as your brain will allow it to. Right. So, so um, uh, and this is just, this is news that you just broke on your social media the other day. You will be returning to SeaWorld's Hallow Scream this year. Yes. Um, and that's exciting for the second year in a row now. Yeah. They have brought you back. So they must love what you're doing out there. I mean, yeah. I mean Aiden, you're excited for him to be coming back out here, out there. You know, that'd be, that's I'm be super grateful for the, for the opportunity. Yeah. To, to be able to make a return visit, you know, I mean, not only to train, but I get to see Aiden because I haven't, you know, I get to see her, you know, for a week, a year right. type of thing, unless I can come out and the, and the, and the, the new team members that I pulled in last year, right. um, I had a couple, um, returners, I had, how many returners last year, Aiden? It was you, Keenan, Jordan, yeah. Raven, and that's it, right? Yeah, it was just four of us. Yeah, because yeah, eBay kind of floundered. He just forgot to do his paperwork. Yeah. So, but, you know, so it's good to be able to go out and, and see people that I, that I um, picked for the first team right. and, and develop from that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it's great to be able to see. And, and not to mention now, it's like in Florida, there isn't, there, there aren't sliders. They're at the forefront. Right. So they're, they're in a position to where they can build a, a strong community for not only just, not just sliders, but help build a stronger community for haunters in general right you know what i mean but I, I how many times we talk about the fact that you guys are on the at at the very begin at the forefront of something that could potentially really blow up out there all the time i love it keep yeah. telling me it's very important i love it <laughs> now uh aiden, <laughs> aiden how long have you been doing haunt total for now uh, two years two i've years? only ever well so yeah this will be my year. third year both years you worked with her yep so um you know, he mentioned obviously earlier um, about you know the physicality of, of keeping that that mental state good and whatnot, no matter what to push you you know to push you through the thing. And, and you know, with training, it's a lot less. Well, how? So before I even say that, because I, I know how I know how, about how long we train out here with these guys, but yeah. what what is the training? How long do you usually typically train when you're when you're actually out there? Well, when I'm on a training cycle, because time is limited, right. We press to six hours a day. Okay. So it's so it's you're a long. Giving them a rough kind of yeah. A that's rough of that's how long a haunt shift would be. To yeah. As well. well, the thing is that's the block. Right. For like this next trip, uh, I th we're going out there. I think it's going to be a total of between auditions and training, a total of about two weeks. Right. So, um, but what I do is, we'll do we'll if we can make the six six hour block, we'll do the six hour block. But I'll give them breaks in between. So the muscles can kind of recover a little bit. They hydrate because, dude, it the weather out there fucking sucks when we train. Oh, yeah, I, I, it's I've so been, humid I, and gross. I, I, I've been, trust me, I've been. Yeah, that's why I. Say it rains for twenty minutes, stops, and then it's dry in another twenty minutes, and then we go I, out there and. That's why I say Florida's got the best AC because like it just feels great, but that's no, it feels gross. It feels gross. <laughs> AC, gross. Oh, AC, feels AC. AC. Oh, okay, yeah. I said Florida's got the best AC. Like you can feel that yeah. from like a mile away. Um, but yeah, so. Going into when, when, for for Aiden going into training as far as um, you know you're you're about to train and stuff. Um, how does it uh, for you that mindset of, of keeping the mentality going so the body doesn't shut down and whatnot and keeping your mind clear and everything like that? How does that um, how did that help you for a, a full on season? Now you're working anywhere from six to eight hour shifts every night, um, you know from start to finish. 
you know, whether you're out there on stage or whether you're, you know, you're behind the scenes doing makeup or whatnot. Um, how, how was that? How did that prepare you mentally going into the season after kind of getting the, the proper training there and whatnot? Um, so there's, there's this one drill in particular that Scott does that it's a uh, timed drill. So they, he, like, he sets up some cones, you know, and you have like three minutes and you go out there and you do different slides at different cones and it's exhausting and the worst thing I've ever done in my life. But <laughs> it's, it's always what I kind of come back to when I am feeling exhausted on like certain nights, you know, I hear Scott in the back of my head screaming at me to keep pushing because there's only 30 seconds left, which is always a lie. But, you know, I always hear that little voice just telling me to like keep going just a little bit longer, you know, and you know, when you're, you're exhausted, you want to collapse, but then you see that one perfect slide and you're like, I got to do it. I got it. And you just have that extra little oomph. And it's because of that, because of that drill. And I've, I appreciate that. You know, it's funny. You said you hear that little voice in your head, and I can hear that same voice right now of him yelling at the oh, rink. Yeah. And I just, I don't even <laughs> train with him. I just go to watch, and I can still, I can hear it. I mean, I'm mm-hmm. hearing his voice right now, so, you know. <laughs> I'm always in his head. He's always in my head, well, and he never leaves. What about, Kaden, what's so, your take on that? Because this is the drill that we do all the time. It's the 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 cone drill where the I, 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 the I, diagonal? No, it's the one, not not the corner drill. It's the one where I have you guys slide constantly. It's like, okay, oh, this cone yeah. you do a slide by, this cone you do a bailout, this one you, you know, roll out. I love that one. My body hates that one. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> genuinely, no. Like, it has helped me build so much endurance. Right. And at the same time, you have to think because, you know, yeah. it's not just the same slide. It's either bailout or, you know, stop yeah. or something else. It's an on the spot call from. from exactly, spot. yeah. And, yeah. um,. You know, during that drill, I I reach points where I'm like, I cannot. And very much same as you, I, I hear his voice. She can't see you, so you gotta, oh, okay. you gotta actually say her name. Oh, she can see you. Oh, you can? Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember, I put the camera on. Oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> um, but, like, I hear his voice, and it's very much like, keep going. And right. when I'm out, you know, on the street doing that, it's the same thing. Because that drill is very similar to that how it is out there yeah right now, so that that you guys hit the nail on the head now you guys understand why i do that drill it's threefold one because it, it mimics situations when you're actually in your environment two it pushes your conditioning three it really gets your mental state to get more in, to, in sync with what you're doing yeah so right. yeah and, and i'm i'm if we i'm pretty sure we could say this now but kaden uh you are actually one of the newest members of the the yeah, slider team yes, yes. Um, so congratulations on that. Um, but that was like, how, like I know, I four just, or five months yeah, ago. Now. I knew we could, I, it was in my head. I was like, I, I think yeah. I could say that. Yeah, they announced that. I remember they. I remember reading a backstory on Instagram. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, you uh, especially like right now and stuff. You guys, you know, you guys train around this time every year, yes. uh, going into it. Now year round. Um, and then this is kind of something for both of you too, to, to kind of see where your mindset is year round going back into it. But, um, year round, you know, are you, are you constantly, you know, trying to keep that, 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 that fit, you know, staying fit to, so when you get back into it, it's not as hard or is it one of those things where getting back into it kind of is like a challenge for you and you like that cause you're like, okay, now I'm back in the zone. It, we got a couple months left seasons around the corner. I'm kind of getting a little hyped and I'm ready to do this again. I mean, like, I, I do the basics, I'll go to the gym, or right. I will, like, hit the rink with friends, Right. but something about the training, it's it's very much, that's when I get excited. Yeah. That's when everything... That's when you know it's, like, it's almost showtime. Exactly. Right. And there's a lot of things I'm like, right, I forgot about this. Because you love pain! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> hey, if anyone, though, I, I, I will say this, though, I've never heard any uh, any complaints from him at all. Like, he is one of the, I think he's one of your, uh, as far as the West Coast goes, I mean, he, he's always eager to learn. Yeah, he doesn't, he, he Kaden never complains, no, never. he, he just, he just never. does it. I mean, I think the most he'll do is ask questions, but that's not, he just wants to get a better understanding of yeah. what you want him to accomplish. Exactly. Um, well, that's the thing, too, is like, out here, um, these guys have the luxury of being able to be in contact with me year-round. Right. You know, physical contact, not a phone call. Right. So, out here, we'll, we still do events, you yeah. know. So we gear up, and they're allowed to slide at some of these events, whether it's photo shoots or food truck nights or, yeah. you know, um, or appearances cons, appearances, events, stuff yeah. like that. But even still, like, from sliding in general, we'll maybe take, through the course of the year, maybe 
what, two months off completely? Yeah. And then we'll go back to it. Like, there was, I was, I was at the rig once a week for a long time, and then I took, like, a two-month break when they took a break, and now we're, now we're starting to get back into it. But there was a point in time where, like, a month in, they were on a break, and I was still, I was still conditioning because I cannot rightfully do my job. I'm not the do-as-I-say-not-as-I-do type of guy. Right. That's the way I do things. It has to have a lot of integrity, and if I can't show these people how to do it, yeah. I'm not going to be like, this is how you need to do it. I can't show you how to do it, but this is how you need to do it. Yeah, you want to, you want to, you're not going to make someone do something that you couldn't do yourself. You right. Know? So, it's, exactly. It, yeah, it's one of those things where, uh, again, going back to it, 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 it's what makes you the coach that you are. You're like, okay, I'm going to try all this stuff on myself first, make sure that it can work out and it's going to work to how I want it to work out. And then uh, eventually start taking it in and, and testing it out with, you know, students and, and, and see yeah. if they can catch on to it and how easy for them it is to catch on for it or, or yeah. how, how much, you know. And the thing is, too, is that everything that I experiment on with myself, I understand that not everybody's going to be able to do it at the same level of intensity as I can. So what I'll do is I'll start the entire group at a lower at a lower rate and then build up to it. Right. You know, because not everybody's going to work that way, but I got to get everybody to the same point, the same level of consistency at some point in the in in the routine. Right. You know, that way when opening night happens boom everybody's going to be hitting on all f- all cylinders yeah. and that's what i need yeah and then and, and aiden same thing to you uh back to the question i asked Caden, what, what what's it like <clears throat> for you year round are you are you constantly like you know going to the gym here and there keeping conditioning light but still kind of keeping up with it oh, and then when it comes back to it is it is it a lot harder for you is it is it get you excited to get back into the groove of things like how is it for you year round and then going into practicing for sure um i actually am pursuing a career's a stunt double here in Atlanta. Nice. Yeah, so I try to stay in decent shape, but it's completely different for sliding, like Scott said earlier. Um, You know, every year I kind of slack on my cardio, and so getting back into that has already been, like, I was sick last week, and I just started doing my cardio, just the warm-up that we do for sliding, and it kind of killed me a little bit. Like, I got to... I gotta open up my lungs a bit more. <laughs> he's doing the Doctor Evil pinky, and he's laughing yeah. over here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's plotting. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's but here's no, a. I, sorry, go ahead, Aiden. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, I was just gonna say I do get really excited every year. It's kind of the opposite here. I feel like we only slide like four months out of the year, maybe. Right. And then because we don't really have anything else to do. Like, as far as sliding goes, right. we just kind of chill for the rest of the year. And then, yeah, like, July, August, it starts getting real exciting. And I get pumped for it. I love it. I have so well, much Well, you fun. better start getting excited now because I'm there next week. I already am. I, okay. Like I said, I did some cardio today. And I <laughs> she's ready to go. She's like, she's like, let's do this, Scott. Bring yeah. it. <laughs> so here's another thing, too, that I want to touch on because it's important. So I, I always say that the way I train people is to help reduce risk of injury. And I say reduce because there is no physical way to completely eliminate that possibility. Mm-hmm. Something's always going to happen. There's always a scenario that, hey, you know what, you got to get up out of the way from somebody, you might collide, and you get up and you twist your ankle or something. But what I do do too is, especially with these guys here that have 24-7 access, is that if they have an injury, they reach out and they tell me, I help them through that on how to recover from it. You know, there's there's certain things you can do, certain motions, exercises to rehab it, to increase your your process back to 100. percent right. So I do throw that in there too, and that's for me being when I was I've been an athlete since I was 10, so going through all these different injuries, and knowing what works from my my trainers, my therapists, and doctors, orthopedics and everything, I take those things and implement them into what I do now, is because these are the things that help me get back on track. Right. to being 100% going back to whatever I, whatever I was doing. Right. And, you know. Um, I have to I have to announce this and you've already announced it many times but um, it, it is it is cool to see that your hard work is is starting to pay off more and more. Uh, you you actually uh, and we're going to talk about other things too but you actually have the opportunity this year to um, 
do a panel this year yes. at Midsummer Scream, which is you beat very, me to it. very big. That's a very big step for you, honestly. Yes, it's I a mean, huge step. I mean, it's it's a, it's a way to further get. I mean, we we we're talking about the very you know we're talking actually with one on one with with uh, students today, but on on the show uh, you can you can expect a little a lot more details as far as more backstory and whatnot with Scott. So stay tuned. That's going to be a lot of fun. That's just a little teaser. Um, there'll probably be more. I just I just gave a brief little teaser, but yeah. Um, Midsummer Scream uh, this year. Uh, how exciting was it to uh, to get the to get the call and, and and then you know bring the idea to Rick and then Rick was just completely interested in it. Well, the thing was is like I I had been thinking about it for a while and I wasn't sure how to approach it and then you and I went to CreepyCon and yeah. we saw Rick and his girlfriend there and. Rick and I have a long history. He and I have known each other for over 20 years. Since and the TPA days, man. Yeah, since, since year one of TPA. Yeah. So he and I were just talking. I said, hey, I have a question for you. And I asked him, I go, what are the parameters that you guys look for for a panel? He's like, what are you thinking? So as I was explaining it to him, before I could even finish, he's like, fuck yeah, we'd love to have you. So basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to be in the educational programming. Right. And I'm, I'm going to be doing a panel covering everything that I cover like I obviously I'm going to give my background so people don't think I'm just some Got jackass <laughs> yeah some jackass off the street trying to teach this stuff I actually have invested history and experience in it so that's that's really exciting at midsummer is July 20 29 to the 31st 29 to the 31st I don't have any more information than as far I, as it's, a date yet or yeah, a, as a date yet, or a time uh, Keep stay tuned to uh, False Light Dynamics on Instagram, and also keep up with Midsummer Scream on Instagram. They'll be announcing uh, panel lineups and, and times and stuff. But, yeah, uh, it's gonna be cool. I'm I'm excited that uh, that is finally, a huge one for that, me. I'm I mean, super and grateful the, for that. And, so know, yeah. thank you, Rick West and his team. Much and appreciated. We've always said on the channel, Midsummer Scream is like the Comic Con of horror conventions. You yeah, know what I mean? like you have all these haunts that come out. You have all these like big time celebrities that come out and, and celebrate with the fans you have all these amazing vendors the hall of shadows all these amazing panels so it's going to be a fun weekend uh the first year ever uh well for one the fifth anniversary and it's going to be the first time ever them doing three days so that should yeah. be a lot of fun for everyone we'll all be there aiden we wish you can come out and join us it'd be a lot of fun you gotta come out one year to, to experience this midsummer screen because i guarantee you if you've ever seen any comic book convention just think of that but a horror based one it sounds incredible. It's well, amazing. out there, out there in Florida, there's there's Spooky Empire. That's a big con out there. Yeah. If you ever get a chance, I mean, just any any horror convention, just go check it out. It's a lot yeah. of fun. We just had a lot of fun yeah. at Monster Palooza last weekend. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'm I'm really excited for you, man. That I mean, and you and I, we we go back to you know, like I said, when we first met in 2020, and we've stayed in contact since. And and you and I will always talk to each other about exciting things that are coming up for us and whatnot. And we always have really good, solid conversations about you know teams and, and yeah. you going over to florida and um i've gotten i've been fortunate enough through you to actually meet some of the florida team like uh now i've met aiden but i've met jordan and jordan is a very nice person as well and and uh just to see what you're doing out there on the east coast taking what you know on the west coast and and Kaden can talk about this too i mean it's just just to see that you're going coast to coast now it's it's and it's and from what i'm hearing from both parties it's it's a lot of similar training you know it's the same yeah. things that you teach these, these guys on the west coast out there on the east coast and it's funny to hear the, them these two uh, their stories behind you know the challenges and, and the pain but yeah. as much as they go through that they they do it because they love what they do in this industry yep. and they want to continue to better themselves i mean aiden gave us an inspirational story about you know her, her having the, the leg you know the leg problems over the years destroyed and, leg and fucked up knees and it's like what but, you know, Caden, you know, also brought up that this really helped him with, you know, with anxiety and stuff. And, and, you know, a lot of people who are, you know, usually really nervous or overthink things, too. I mean, I'm glad that hopefully if they're watching, they can take some inspiration off Caden as well. I mean, and, and for those who who've have who've had past injuries or, or problems with their, their body and their health, hopefully Aiden can give you guys a little inspiration of what she went through using Scott's program and how it bettered her overall and see now you're going to be becoming a, a stunt person that that is you're working on that that's that's taking it to another level right there and that's awesome so well one thing about my program is, is it's the same whether it's east coast or west coast or anywhere i train yeah um let's get you out to germany one there day. are you know my, my goal is to go global yeah um anybody that knows me and it's close to me that's been supporting me um knows that yeah um and you know i got a shout out to people like you guys 
that support me because I would not be able to do what I do without the support of the people that I actually believe in what I'm doing. Hundred uh, percent. You know, and it's it's an odd thing. You know, I mean, I, I, I I'm not gonna deny that, but it's something that fulfills a need that we need in the haunt industry because sliding is growing and the fact that I was one of the guys that was there when we started seeing shit blow up around the world, you know, in the nineties we saw videos of people in Japan doing it. I always say that, you know, and now there's people in Holland and Germany and all over the place. You know, so my goal is to go global and train the teams out there and get everybody in the same level. Not to mention it'd be cool to you know, a lot of these people when when you mention the name not scary farm or ghost town. Yeah. Worldwide now people know this name because yep. they they look up videos constantly especially people who want to get into this industry who are trying to learn how to slide and stuff that's how they some of them self teach themselves you know what i mean like that's how they they try to learn you know because they don't have people yeah. out there like you that can do that so hopefully doors open in the future for you to get to travel to japan to travel to germany to travel to the you know yeah. maybe if it even starts just traveling in the in, in, in within the states right now and then yeah. working your way out you know it's overseas you know it's it's people like that that as long as this is still involved with haunt as long as this is still a thing people are eager eager to learn and there's always going to be newer generations coming up to learn more and more that's um, exactly it yeah and i want these newer generations to learn so scott maybe properly. uh maybe start you know, when the business starts blowing up, maybe start teaching trainers that way they can keep the business going after your long. Well, that, that 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 is all in the thought process, but right now it's all me. Yeah. Um, and you know, I, I'm just gonna say it. It's this. There, there's people out there. It's a guarantee that talk down on what I do, and that's okay. You know, it's not for them. Yeah. You know, um, for me, it's my my focus is geared towards the people that want to learn, the events that want to hire me to get their talent to the the optimum level for their events. You know, mm -hmm. and people see value in that that's why i do get hired to do what i i'm stoked that i get to do what i love and get paid right you know um do i hope i could make a complete living off of it one day yeah of course 100%. you know it'd be it'd be it'd be great you know it's a niche market so it's a slow growth process right uh just like with anything yeah you know but uh like i said it is what it is the the, the haters can hate but you know they can you know it's the people that support me and and see what I do is value and are super hyped on what I have coming up is awesome. I'll continue and to be a day one to, to the this day guy. I die, bro. Yeah. To the day I die. Th those are, you guys don't know, but he, on the first podcast I did with Knights of Horror, yeah. that's when I released the information about really? dynamics. Yeah. And look at how it came full circle now. Yeah. That was over Zoom, too. Now we're in person. That yeah, because we were in the pandemic. We were talking about it. pandemic, man. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, pandemic. And, uh, yeah. I would love to have trainers though, but right now I, it's, it's I'm a, not it's in a position one to yeah. pay anybody to. I don't trust anybody enough to teach everybody the way I needed to be taught. You know all the steps. I can think of one person off the top of my head, and I think you know a person. Oh yeah, yeah, but that's a given. Yeah, that's a given. Um, Said individual would 100. percent Yeah, but do the way I feel it needs to be done. I think a, a good way to kind of to, to close out this is to hear from overall just experiences from both Caden and Aiden and how much this program uh, has helped you, benefits you through life or just, you know, health purposes. And, and um, I think it's just kind of some kind words to, to Dieterman of, of him being an awesome coach, man, because kind words. that's not what I need. I'm just, you no, know, that's I'm, what you need because you got to hear how much these, these people, I, I can guarantee you've helped these people a lot. I mean, you heard her story. I, I mean, that was the first time Every, heard We haven't even heard all of Caden's story You're yet. Because he's over here hibernating in the corner like, okay, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I don't want to Just jump in. Just jump in. I don't want to interrupt. No, you should. If you have something to say, say it. It's like, wait a minute, I got, but this. But I, I want to hear just overall how this program has uh, has bettered you, you know, as far as scaring or uh, how it's helped you guys health-wise overall. Like, well, what's the, you know, what was some good benefits that came out of doing this for you guys? I mean, genuinely, like, I had no haunt experience, no sliding experience right. um, until I started training with Scott. And, you know. None? I had none. Wow, I, I had that's went, news to me. I had went to Knott's and was like, cool, I want to do that. And that was it. That's wow. all I had. See, I just thought you just didn't have any sliding experience. No, I well, had no, nothing. You're learning something new every day, right? And so the fact that you also did character work with it, you know, just every, I mean, I was anxious about the whole thing. <laughs> 
I had no idea. <laughs> Yay. And now I can confidently sit here and go, yeah, I have an idea. And obviously, yeah. there's still a lot I can improve on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but without the training, I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to do all the experiences that I've been able to. I wouldn't have been able to go out there and slide properly and not flop on the floor. Like a you fish. Know, like Bam. a fish. Like my first time. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm forever grateful, you know? Thank you. And Appreciate continue, it. And he continues to learn today and probably will continue to keep learning oh, yeah. as much as he can because I, I get to see him improve all the time. Aiden, what about you? Uh, what were some, some good benefits that came out of uh, training with Scott and, and, and furthering your, your kind of career for not only to kind of almost preparing you for a line of stunt work to, to kind of enhance on that, but to, to further your career as a scare actress. No, actually, I'm... Oh, damn, lost hold on. We lost your sound. They like... Stop. Stop. Hang on. <laughs> She's like... We, I go like this. Can't hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. She's still talking. She's doing it. She's a smart ass. She's like... on purpose now. <laughs> She's basically saying, <laughs> fuck you. There we go. Okay, start from the top. From the top? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm actually in the same boat as Caden. Um, I had never done any sort of scare acting at all until I started sliding. And so I genuinely had no clue what to do. And the character work that we did really did help me invent a character and get myself out there, you know, performing. Because I also hadn't done any sort of performing since I was like 13. So getting out there and working on it helped me a lot. It actually still helps me, you know, like I said, I still hear your little voice in the back of my head whenever I'm like, you know, grabbing a soda or something. Like <laughs> you're always there and it gets stronger like towards haunt season for some reason, but it's definitely helped me grow as a performer and athlete and, you know, just a person in general. Like it's, it's worth it. <laughs> well, damn. See, that, those are the kind of things that make me happy to, to know that I'm helping you guys develop not only the sliding, but trying to push something else outside the realm of, of your sliding. And you're taking some of the lessons that you've learned from me and applying it to real world, to, to your everyday life, you know. Yep. And that's pretty fucking cool, you know. I always want to have a positive impact on you guys, not just in sliding, but with other things too, if we can parlay it, you know. And... That's, that's another thing, too, that just sparked a, a thing in my head that I forgot to mention is that when I, when I build a new team, is I, I'm very, very upfront on how their attitude is mm -hmm. when it comes to interacting with other talent outside of the sliding realm and how they need to maintain their humility and their integrity. Because no matter how big our haunt, the haunt industry is, it's still small. Yeah. So... If I can pass on the mindset of, you know what, we got to be supportive of the community as a whole, go to other events, you support their talent, support their sliders, whatever, it's going to make the community stronger and it's going to continue to grow. And I feel like last season, too, we actually had the opportunity to do that. You know, I was rolling with you guys, you guys yeah. were coming with, you know, hanging out with me and stuff, and, and we were all going to... You know, you guys did uh, you did Six Flags to go support the Brothers and Tricks and and, and, yeah. and Green Clown. And, yeah, Green Clown. Uh, yeah, Green Clown. <laughs> um, you know, you had the uh, opportunity to go check out Knots a couple nights. You know, and and so you got you you got you kind of got to do some things before you had to start your season off. But I, I think that's I think that's always what's been overall too for me. It's like that, I just like to go, I, like you said, I just like to go support my friends. I like yeah. to go give them some support and and shoot some cool videos and hopefully I catch something cool, hopefully I don't. Um, who knows? I don't know. It's a hit or miss. Some nights could be really good and some nights yeah. could just be like, it, it could be the crowd that ruins it all for a lot of people. But Well, I um, came from a, oh, I'm sorry, Anthony, go ahead No, I was just going to say, yeah. like, it's, it's just fun to, 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 especially people that I interview and meet, you know, especially that if I don't know anything about their characters or anything, and then going the next year to see the character develop or yeah. other things, that is, like, for me, that's the coolest thing and the funnest thing to do. Like, yeah. I like to go see how they how they improved within the last year or what ideas they wanted to bring to the table for this season. So yeah, it's been really fun to see all that. Yeah, see, for me, I came from from a time where from a time like I'm time traveling back I, in the back in the, the uh, age of the dinosaurs. The core, the, the the heavy core of my my quote unquote monster career was a time where there was so much animosity, and not even between different venues like different parks, but 
uh, venues inside of parks, like different areas. There was so much animosity towards each other. Like, why the fuck is that? I've, I've always hated that. You know, I've, I've always hated the fact that people are, I hate you because you work this area, you work this park. What's the point of that? We're all there for the same reason. It's to entertain the guests. Give them a good scare. You know, give them a good show. Mm -hmm. Why not support that? It's like, okay, there's going to be people you don't like. Trust me, there's a lot of people that I don't like, and it's because of their attitude and the fact that they just talk shit and I lie. Mm -hmm. You know, but the people that, that don't do that, those are the ones that I'm fully there to, to back up. It doesn't matter if I know them personally or not. You know, if I know who they are through a friend or another uh, person that I trained, that type of thing, you know. And, and there's people, like, they want to come in and slide with us, but I push them away because of their attitude. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I will not train somebody that's got an ego the size of the Grand Canyon because they're never going to, one, they're never going to, their ability is never going to reach that level. Two, why am I wasting my time? He's only here to stir shit up, and it takes away from the people that actually want to train and get better. Yeah, hundred you know? percent, dude. So I mean, and, and I know you—you you're, you really like to, um, you like to try to like. Not everyone's perfect, but you really like to try to perfect what you try to do, and and really make a a, a good and safe program for everyone. Any one of whether. Uh, you know, it, it, and this is going for kids that are teenagers that want to learn too. But you, you go for really almost any age, and and mm -hmm. and, and it, no matter how you look or feel, it's like it doesn't matter. My program's meant to work for everyone, and yep. and that's the goal. Is doesn't matter if you're if you think you're overweight or if you think you're too skinny or if you think you know if you think you're too tall if you think you're too short, it doesn't matter. You have a program that can suit everyone. Yeah, it's and, and the more you put into the program, the more you're going to get out of it. Yeah, you know these two are a perfect example of that. Right. Because they put everything into it, and they they're getting positive results. Right. And you know every them, time we see them nail um, haunts every year. You know them going in doing their character work and their yeah and showing what you taught them out on there. I've personally seen you, like I've said. I have yet to see you, and I, I promise I'll make it out. I know I keep saying that, but, you know, I want to explore the world of haunt. Um, yeah, that is a big thing, too. Yeah. You know, I mean, having them all under Dark Harbor is one thing, you know, but then when Dark Harbor shut down to the pandemic and still hasn't reopened, mm -hmm. you know, having them go to Knott's, and I see them going out there and crushing it, and management's telling me, your guys are fucking great. Personally contacting you. Personally yeah. telling me, you, you guys, your guys that we came over are awesome. That speaks volumes. It's like, okay, they're doing their job. They're yeah. listening. They're, they're like sponges. They're taking it in. And that tells me I'm doing my job. Well, I've, I even remember one of the nights we went, Pasta was talking to you, and she straight up said, I don't think I want to give them back. <laughs> like, that's how good they were doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't doubt in my mind there's probably supervisors over there that will oversee things at, over in Florida and say the same exact thing. Like, I don't want to I don't want to lose these people. These are, these are you know, strong people that... that that will keep the you know the zones going so they can get people through mazes and stuff. But in the end, you know the event's gonna start and end with you. People are either gonna come out, you know, after the event, but they they gotta come in the way they come out. So you're gonna you know you guys are the kind of in a way the the setters for the setting rest the of the tone. event. You yep. know what I mean? Like you guys, you're setting the tone for what the mazes are gonna be like and stuff. You know, because everyone all throughout the nights are gonna walk through your guys' zones. Some may even hang out there all night, and you guys are setting the tones for them. And may may I add? You guys are setting goddamn great tones every single year because I come and I'm just like, I, I don't want to leave. I want to live here. Like, if I could, I would, but, you know, it is what it is. But then I got to wait another year. And He gets his fix when he comes out with us, though. I do. When, I he, goes do. To, when he goes to practice with us. I do. It's been a lot of fun. But and events and stuff. I, See, I, Aiden, if you're out here, you'd be able to do events with us, too. I would love that, honestly. Yeah. I'd love to get something like that going here. Got to put together a team. It's kind of tough, you know. I'm I'm fortunate yeah. that I I oversee the 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 Queen Mary Slider team here, you know. So we've got we've been moving and shaking a little bit, and we got some stuff coming up, which and is good. Another thing we can announce coming up as far as that goes, you know, stuff that involves you and whatnot. But uh, we got slider uh, story films coming up too. Yeah, but this is probably going to come out afterwards. We'll see. Oh, it already came out. So if you guys want to have a good time, I hope you had a good time. But, yeah. But story films. Good time. But story it, films, it, June seventeenth. You know but this is coming out after. It's already that. After, but you know, it is. It was, but it, I'm talking about like events like that. You guys are. Yeah. You guys headline that, and 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 you know, uh, you do the street food Tuesdays and and stuff. You know. Yeah. Like that, but a lot of the the you know everyone on that team is under the guidance and training of of you. So you know everyone learns through you and, and 
they're taught by you and stuff. And I, like I said, I, last year I had the opportunity to see how that's like, you know, with, you know, conditioning and stuff. It wasn't, yeah, obviously it wasn't as heavy as if you were work, doing a two-week program with them. Yeah. But it was still enough to get them conditioned and ready to go. And I even remember you telling everyone, like, Dark Harbor is probably not coming back this year. So you guys, if you really want to do something, start applying and looking at places. And he, he really does push everyone to uh, to, to go out there and try it and, and do it and, and keep it going and, and to stay involved with it because it's all about, you know, you want to keep your name out there and stuff for, for future opportunities potentially. So. Yeah, yeah you, if, you, if you decide that an event that you have been working for years is not doing it for you anymore, okay, go out and explore other events. You know, I'm not going to get mad at somebody to try to go to another event and see what it has to offer. And if they get something more out of it, great. If they choose to stay, of course that's going to bum me out because one of my team, but that's their choice. Yeah. And I support that. I just have to fill their spot with someone else. Mm -hmm. You know, so... No, but I, I would say, man, I mean, these two said something nice about you, so I guess I got to uh, kind of say something nice it's about all, you. It's all hearsay. It is all hearsay. <laughs> Objection hearsay. Well, see, Aiden <laughs> only gets the, the nice side of me. That is true. You guys kind of get the more darker side at times. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's just because you guys are with him year-round where he's only well, with them, like, a few weeks out of the year. We also, we, we push his Yeah, you yeah. push a little bit. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they do. See, the, the, the Orlando team doesn't really push my buttons because they know we have a short amount of time to get a lot of work done. Yeah. Now, she tries, but she, she doesn't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if they had more time with you, they would definitely. Yeah, so oh, I guess God. we'll see how this year goes, right, Aiden? Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, mm. I want you to like the first day you see him, just go up to him and be like, pushing buttons. <laughs> buttons push. Buttons <laughs> push. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably just laugh at it, and you know. But uh, no, man, you've been you've been honestly though, like you know, getting to see you coach and everything, and, and because of you, I've gotten a better understanding of, of sliding and, and overall. Like I would just go to haunts and be like, this is really cool, like to see this and stuff. It was really cool, but through you, you've given me a, a, a much open horizon on it and to kind of to kind of show me more behind the scenes of, of what it takes to actually uh, do this properly and, and to do it safely and, and and having fun with it and stuff so uh, through you I've gotten to know a lot more and and I continue to learn more and um, through you I've gotten a lot actually I've gotten a lot of opportunities as well so I just really thank you for I know we've only known each other since 2020 but it feels like we've known each other for a good amount of time so i just want yeah. to thank you for opportunities that you've 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 given me and and to not have given up on me when a lot of people yeah when i was at my lowest when yeah. a lot of people did and, and you were always there you're and, welcome and i appreciate that more than anything thanks for always supporting what i'm trying to do i know it's crazy but uh, we, we have car rides when we go to conventions if you guys want a little backstory between me and him we have car rides and we literally We'll talk about this kind of stuff. Like we All get the time. deep in our like it's like a it's almost like a therapy session between me and him. We yeah, it, it gets kind of weird. I mean, it, you guys don't know, but there have been times where, you know, doing doing what I do, it, it's stressful on me. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, because yes, you have the training time that I'm with the actual people I'm trying to teach. Right. But then you have the time outside that I have to build curriculum. Mm -hmm. You know, and then there's times where I just. I'm like, example, why, what the fuck am I doing? Example, organizing this podcast. Yeah, I this mean, is kind of a shit show. It, I mean, how many months out. did I? How many months ago that I asked you guys if you're interested in doing this? Oh, it was like. I'm pretty sure you asked like last year at training. I think it was right? honestly. Yeah, <laughs> it was like four months ago. See? Like, yeah, we yeah. Uh, we we've been having this in the talks for a while, and I think what finally got it going was the fact that the Midsummer Screen panel got announced. So I was like, well, this would be a good kind of yeah. little advertisement to kind of really get that. Hopefully get people can get more information, you know, when they go to see you. Uh, you know, we, we were just covering, you know, what it's like doing one-on-ones with students and stuff. But now you'll give it – when you go to the panel, you'll probably get an oversight of the business as a whole. So, yeah. you know, and, and you know, getting I that. just want to see people do good and have a good time. Yeah. You know, and if I can – if I can contribute to that help, I mean, and the growth. Help, getting to help you somewhat with that, too, has been a lot of fun for yeah, me. Yeah, I, I think it's know? great, and I appreciate the fact that you are always willing to be like, yeah, let's just do an episode. Yeah, yeah. let's bring you on. You know, it, it's great. I've talked about doing this podcast, I think, after he first uh, started Slider Dynamics. I'm like, you ever need any, like, a platform or anything, just hit me up. And it's literally to the point where he can be like, hey, fool, we're doing this. I'm like, down, let's go. <laughs> yeah. That's literally our relationship now. He'd be like, hey, fool, let's do this. I'd be like, let's go. Yeah. do it so pretty much I um mean. so obviously slider dynamics is in full gear now man and and you're going back to orlando 
hopefully uh, we'll see in the cards if maybe you'll get other things this year. I haven't heard anything yet, but, I mean, even if I did, I wouldn't say it. But yeah, hopefully you get some other gigs this year, maybe if it's even, like, smaller haunts. I have, or, some, I have some, some things in the works that I've been talking to a couple places, and just nothing's been solidified. Right. So it's, it's a tough scenario because, like, a hurry-up-and-wait thing. Mm -hmm. um, a, a, one of them could potentially be big yeah. and could be out of state on top of Orlando. So, again, um, follow Slider Dynamics if you want to find out what he's going to be involved with. He usually posts when he gets the uh, okay and he's, he can make it public. He'll, he'll post where he's going. Uh, like I said, you just recently, as of this recording, uh, announced you're going back to Howl Scream for yeah. the SeaWorld in, in Florida. So that's, that's Super exciting. excited for that. Yeah. I really am. Yeah, but I, yeah, and she's like, yeah, that's she's right. Like, he's coming back too. this way. Here we go. Come back East here. Coast. You know, I, so, and I, as far as where if I'm gonna work one event this year, I have no idea. Yeah. Um, so I'm still I'll, trying you know, to work, you know, work out some contracts to see if I have the ability to work a full yeah. season. Because you want to make um, sure you can do what you're trying to do full time, but yeah. Also make sure you're still getting some steady income coming in as well. Exactly. So. Exactly. So. Yeah. So you know, I who knows if I end up working an event, great. Um, if not, I'll be visiting. Yeah. Uh, last year was the busiest season I've ever had, but I was able. I actually ha ended up having six free days during haunts, so I went to Knott's three times, and I went to Six Flags three times. Yeah, good trips, too. You know? I don't think we ever got to go to Six Flags together, though. No, you backed out on my last trip out there. Did I? Yeah. Where was I going? And did I do something You didn't else? want to take the drive out there. The drive sucks. The drive does suck. Anyone knows who lives out in California, the drive from uh, the Buena Park, Orange County area, all the way to Valencia, is it sucks. <laughs> Basically, from Disneyland past L.A., so that gives you a perspective, yeah. Aiden, a little bit. Pretty far. Yeah. 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 I mean, I drove out there on a Friday morning. I left my house at like 10:30, 11. It took me like over two hours to get out there. Yeah. It sucked. Yeah, it's it's a bad drive, but. And I stayed the weekend out there. I got a hotel and everything because I was like, there's no fucking way I'm doing a turnaround. I'm just gonna go in both days, you know. So. So I guess the best way to end this too is uh, to talk to our. Our guests as well, other guests as well. Uh, Kaden, other guests. Other guests. <laughs> other guests. <laughs> guest number two. Guest number two. <laughs> guest number three. Just existing here. So. Um, existing. <laughs> uh, uh, Kaden, as far as your your haunt career goes in the future, like um, obviously you're looking like you want to keep improving. You want to keep going. You want to keep challenging yourself. What what. What can we see next from you? I mean, you got a lot of things probably in the works, but I know you can't say too much, but as a teaser for people who, you know, want to come out and see you and stuff, like, who, what, what can we can we expect next from you? I mean, obviously, uh, QM Slider events, we got a bunch of those going on, so you right. definitely will see me at those. Um, and, you know, it is audition season coming up for Haunt, um, and I would love to return to Haunt. <laughs> So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, speaking of, that's coming up in the next couple weeks for you. Yeah, yeah. but Our, I mean, I'm pretty much yeah. go with the flow. Um, I love this industry, and wherever I can work, I will go. Yeah, so. I know you're also very busy in your in your personal life, and so I, I don't know how you make all the time, but I respect I, it. I don't. You don't. You're <laughs> I just don't. like you're just. It just comes. I just roll with I'm it. I'm like managing my time constantly. Yeah. Kind of I was. I'm glad. I'm just glad you just yeah. made it here today. I am no. too. <laughs> yeah. uh, Aiden, what about you? Obviously, you said you got some personal career choices that you are making that sound exciting. But as far as Han goes, like, where do you, where do you see yourself? Do you want to continue to improve? Do you want to continue that character build? Do you want to continue to just be the the better version of you? I mean, you already are at a at a peak version of you, but you want to continue to always go better, right? <laughs> definitely. Um, and you know, I'm definitely gonna audition this year for Sea World. We'll see how that ends up. I would love to do. <laughs> Do some more sliding uh, here in Georgia, though. You know, if I could get something together for that, that would be really dope. Are there haunts out there? There's, I think there is a few. There are. Like, there's Six Flags. There's Netherworld. But I've reached out. Netherworld for doesn't. Netherworld doesn't have sliders. Well, you know, they gotta start somewhere. But yeah, so, go if you go true. out there. There. She could be the trailblazer. Yep. Yeah, so, so I, I reached out to them. I haven't heard anything. Uh, you know, I need to reach out to Six Flags and see if they is that wanted. Six Flags. What is that? Is it Williamsburg? No, it's just Six Flags over Georgia. It's in. Oh, okay. I don't know. Near gotcha. Stone. Okay, so, I wasn't yeah. sure. Oh, you yeah. know what else too? I forgot to tell you. So when I do these trainings, apparently I'm a matchmaker too. <laughs> Go. Explain the story, Aiden. Quick story. 
quick story. Um, I went for an audition, and then I was actually auditioning, and this guy shows up who was just asked to come and slide because he's perfect in every single way. And then we fell in love, and now we live together, and we're... Oh, look at that. Perfect. That's a love story. For months <laughs> after I came back, though, they would not admit they were together, and I said, fuck you guys, you guys are a couple. And I'm like, yeah, we're together. What about you? You got any... Mm -hmm. No well, you let's be real on how no. you met him though. You met him at Pirates Dinner first. No, no, no. I met him at Slider all set or Slider practice. Slider, yeah. Wait, no. Yeah. Yeah. We met him there and we told him to come out. Yeah, you guys met him there. But I wasn't tight with you oh, guys yeah, enough. That's right. to the Pirates. Only, yeah, only the coaches I, went. I was showing up late to practice with a bunch of coffee and he was there stretching, being all cute and shit. So They were oogling <laughs> each other's goodies. Oh. <laughs> I always hey, say man. that because it's funny. Listen. Sorry, I, I totally, I, I I totally cut off Aiden's story. I don't want to say that you're a, I'm also a matchmaker, but I'm just going to throw this out there, and he knows this. Ever since Jay got on a podcast, and ah! guy, all of a sudden, the next week, the guy gets a girlfriend. So I'm just saying, I mean, did I just did I get the storyteller a girlfriend? Yeah. So we got yeah. two matchmakers over here. Yeah. yeah. You know. I totally cut off Cupid Kate's story. Do you have any stories? About what specific matchmaker stuff during Hunt? No. Oh, man. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody yeah. want to matchmaker me? <laughs> just matchmake each other. You, you both match matchmakers. Why do you think I just did like, a shoulder touch? I try it. to get my roommate involved. I go, you gotta, you find gotta, me somebody. You guys do, do the Miles Morales. Hey. Oh, God. <laughs> If, you know, 70% of the time, it works every time. The so. It works then? Yeah. Miles was right then? I mean, I, I, I like Miles, so I hope I was hoping he was As right. Will Smith was saying, bad boys, my shit always works sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, oh, one, one last thing I want to say is that just if you guys aren't following me, follow me on Instagram. Uh, there's a lot of things in development um, on the team side, on, you know, panels and stuff like that, and training and stuff like that. So... That's where all my stuff will be posted. I don't have Facebook because I, I had one. I didn't use it, so I shut it down. Um, Instagram, I'm just trying to build following as best I can there, but that's where all my info goes out. So. And then I'll let our guests, if they have it, yeah. any social media you guys want to plug, feel free to. Mr. TikTok famous. Um, Instagram, TikTok, cyber drifting. Cyber, I love that name. I think we've talked about that, yeah, too. It's, yeah. it's a great name, cyber <laughs> drifting. That, sound, that just sounds like something you hear in Tron. It just sounds yeah. like, that's what I was going for. Yeah. I like it. Uh, Aiden, like what about yourself? Uh, for TikTok and Instagram, I am THT Black Sheep. So, my Instagram is like my most active, but I'm trying to build my TikTok. We'll see. Yeah, because she's a black sheep. She's a pointers. I know a guy. I'm not that guy. <laughs> I'm not that guy. <laughs> his, his, his name, Aiden, his name used to be TikTok because he just blew up on TikTok. So, I, dude, he's TikTok famous and it stuck. Nice. But it's not that. I don't call him that because I think it's stupid. I don't think he likes it very oh, much either. He yeah. hates it. <laughs> yeah. He told me it one night, and I and I watched the video. I'm like, bro, you that guy? You're you're fucking cool. Why wouldn't you? I would embrace like, that shit. But no. it's okay. That was back in 2018, all right? Yeah, yeah. And we had this conversation. <laughs> uh, we don't need to go down that road. No. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> we're in a better we're in a better we're in a better place now. Yeah. Okay. We're in the Knights of Horse studio, and she's in Georgia. Yeah. She's in the virtual studio. Yeah, say that yeah. much. With a sheet behind her. But uh, no, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with Slider Dynamics. I'm looking forward to hearing some awesome stories out there in Florida with your with the Florida team. That's going to be a lot of fun. The I'm new team, forward, we'll see. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do this season, and 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 I'll, I'll probably show up to the rink, you know, and talk my shit, but you know, and then get shit talked like, well, "What are you doing this?" It's like, cause I, you know, I don't do this. I just film. That's all I do. That's my job. Yeah, he you know? gets foot. He gets content for I me. Just get the footage. You know, that's just what I'm. That's what I'm here for. But uh, no, it's it's great to see uh, how everyone's. You know, how everyone has uh, benefited from this program, and we hope that hearing these stories today, that you can uh, one day, um, you know, maybe do some one on ones with Scott if he's open to it later on down the line, or just if if, if you have a team out there that is, is wants to get trained in the in the future. Um, Georgia. Georgia. I'm just saying, Georgia, you got some haunts out there. I, I may know a guy who can train some pretty... Well, she's got all my contact info. Yeah. All she has to do is make a call. That's all you got to do. We're going to get it all set up. Aiden and, and Scott are going to start a revolution in Georgia. Thanks, straight. Damn straight right there. <laughs> and Caden's just going to continue revolutionizing, revolutionizing his haunt career. I can't talk today. Yep. I'm very tired. 
So, then, yeah. So then, yeah? Let's just hammer this thing shut Let's then. do it. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the Slider Dynamics panel at uh, Midsummer Scream. Uh, don't have official confirmation, but when we get the date, as far as uh, the times and everything, we will put it on. I'll put it on my social. He'll have it on his socials. I'm pretty sure they'll put it on their socials to support. It's It's just... We all it tends will. to get cross pollination. Yeah, it's yeah. great. But uh, I want to thank Aiden. It is very nice to meet you, and I and I can't wait to eventually one day go out there and see uh, you in person, and then you do your crafts expertly. I, I can't wait to go see that. Expertly. Expertly. I try. It's always a pleasure. Always. Always a pleasure. Thank you both of you guys for taking the time out of your busy schedules to do this. Yeah. It's greatly appreciated. Sure. You know. Thank you so much for uh, inviting me. Of course. Maybe we'll do it. We'll do Aiden. Me and I will keep in touch. We'll do a one-on-one -on -one podcast one of these days. Yeah, he's got to get you on, too. So far, he's only gotten Jordan on from the team out there. We'll do. Uh, my boyfriend and I are trying to put together a podcast eventually. Of you come analyzing. on the show, we'll promote you guys. So, for sure. Yeah. You come on the show, and we'll promote you guys to get that podcast going. I can. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. Maybe she can join the family, too. Huh? Yeah. Join the family. Um, and, Scott, thanks for just being you. Because I don't think without you, none of this is possible. Really. He's so condescending. I love it. And, you know, thanks for just being, no, for real. Thanks for just being you. Thanks for passing your knowledge down to others who are, are willing to put the time and effort to learn. And, and the fact that you're teaching them the proper ways and, and the, the proper, you know, health benefits and whatnot about it. It's, I think it, I, I remember telling you when I first met you, like, this is a fucking brilliant idea. And now I'm starting to see it. I saw, I've seen it built from the ground up, and it's, it's starting to get better and better as we go slow year growth year. Yeah. yeah so um i'm looking forward to midsummer scream looking forward to seeing i'm excited what these two do this haunt season it's gonna be a fun and wild year and uh let's just uh let's end it by saying uh we'll see you guys in the fog How about that, ho, ho. Right? Uh -huh. I, i've been saying that a lot lately i like yeah. that and uh yeah thank you guys so much and uh with all that being said if you guys enjoyed today's episode make sure to hit that like button Leave some comments down for Scott and uh, Aiden and Caden uh, to show support and some love. Subscribe, uh, too. Subscribe to the channel with that bell notification. Be where every time we put up a new video. Bling, and bling, bling. follow us on Instagram at the Knights of Horror, Twitter at Knights of Horror. Uh, I'm your host, Anthony. This is the Miles Horror Podcast. You are watching the Knights of Horror. And we will see you guys next week for another episode. <laughs>